Last week's autumn budget statement saw the biggest in-year upward revisions to the UK economy's economic growth forecasts in 14 years. A stronger UK economy is clearly good news for local businesses in Northern Ireland and the Northern Ireland economy as a whole. Indeed, according to the, the latest Ulster Bank PMI survey, local businesses in Northern Ireland aren't missing out on the recovery which is occurring at a national level. Last month, Northern Ireland businesses reported a marked acceleration in business output or business activity, and the rate of growth in terms of business output increased at its fastest rate since July 2004. There's only been one other month in the PMI survey's 11-year history that local firms have reported a faster rate of growth than they did in November. The latest run of growth now extends the, the period of growth to five successive months since Northern Ireland's private sector recovery began in July of this year. All sectors of the Northern Ireland economy had a strong November. That was the construction, services, retail and manufacturing sectors. And uh, there's no signs that there's going to be any loss of this momentum anytime soon. If we look at the New Orders Index, which could be viewed as a forward-looking indicator of future business activity, it's hit its highest level in uh, almost nine and a half years. And it was the construction, manufacturing and service sectors all saw their pace of New Orders growth accelerate during the month of November. If we look at the service sector in particular, it saw its rate of, uh, its rate of growth accelerate at its fastest rate since August 2007. This coincided with the, the beginning of the credit crunch and also marked the end of the housing market boom in the Northern Ireland economy. With their current employment levels, manufacturing and service sector firms are struggling to cope with the surge in demand which has been apparent over the last number of months. As a result, backlogs of, of work are starting to mount. Indeed, what we saw was that business outstanding, which is work which is not yet started or not completed, has been rising at its fastest rate since the survey began back in August 2002. Whilst Northern Ireland's economic recovery has clearly taken hold in terms of output and new orders, it hasn't yet fully translated in terms of rising employment levels to the same extent. However, given the rising backlogs that firms are reporting, particularly within the service sector, this may provide businesses with more confidence to recruit more staff in the new year. As we approach the end of, end of the year, it is clear that 2013 was a game of two halves. During the first six months of the year, it was a period of no growth for the private sector. However, the second half of the year has been much more promising, with strong growth and a strong economic recovery being experienced beginning in July of this year. The fact that this recovery has now gone for five months so far probably allays some of the concerns, the initial fears this recovery was going to be something of a sugar rush. However, what we've seen to date has been much more meaningful for, than that. And particularly when we look at forward-looking indicators such as the new orders, it should give the business community confidence that there's going to be economic momentum going into 2014. As far as households are concerned though, inflation and the cost of living squeeze remain public enemy number one. And as far as an economic recovery is concerned for households, this still remains some way off.